Aloha, friends and family. My name is Jason. My name is Michaela. This video will be briefly speaking about this uh, coronavirus that is spreading and what we are doing, what you can do to help strengthen your immune system and mitigate any potential effects. So to start, I have been listening to a couple newscasters and speakers that I value, that are conscious and educated. And so far what I have found about this virus is that it is real, it is killing people, it can be spread by air and water, it can live for 28 days on um, a piece of cardboard per se, and uh, it may even be made in a lab, or maybe it's made naturally, it doesn't matter. Um, as you can see, if you have been watching the news, that this thing is extremely blown up and it's creating a fear pandemonium in the masses and in the collective consciousness. And uh, I've been feeling here in Northern California the last few days that everybody is beginning to freak out and become antisocial and the collective uh, thought train is feeding this fear that we're all going to get infected by this virus. And that's just ridiculous because... We've had viruses in the past and plagues and it's part of the life and death cycle in this world and here we may have another one. And it's good to prepare but also not to worry because when we worry we lower our immune system with the emotion of fear and stress and we manifest it into reality with our thoughts. So we really do have to focus on healing our mind and our thoughts at this time filling ourselves with positivity and hopefulness. So here on the table, we have some medicine and we'd like to talk about what we're doing to strengthen our gut and our immune system at this time to prepare for this virus. Um, Michaela, would you like to start with the eucalyptus while we're growing down? Yeah, sure. So the eucalyptus here, um, this is good for steaming. So you can put the herb in a pot, boil it with some water and go over it and breathe that in. That will help the lungs and congestion and phlegm and break it down. So it'll help a lot with your respiratory system. Mm. And the virus can spread through the respiratory system. That's one of the elements that can be compromised, they say. So good to keep your respiratory system open, breathing, doing a eucalyptus steam baths, going to a, a steam room or a mm -hmm. sauna can be helpful as well, getting out on a bike ride or running, mm -hmm. all and, good. And if you don't have eucalyptus around you, rosemary works too, or different essential oils can work as well. Hmm. We have a... We have a lemon. We have a lemon. <laughs> Lemons are amazing at stimulating the lymph to move, digestion, cleaning and activating the liver and the bile. Drinking lemon water is one of the best things you can do to cleanse yourself, warm or cold. So increasing your, your dose of medicinal foods, real foods, citrus, um, real fruits lemon. from trees, organic foods. This will all keep your immune system and your lymphatic system moving keep your organs happy, and at the end of the day, any virus or any disease, which by the way, there's already thousands of viruses in the world prior to this thing coming out, but all of them require a healthy immune system. So everything that we're taking here is gonna assist your immunity and your inner ecosystem to become resilient and strong. Mm -hmm. And then right here, we have the famous turkey tails. The turkey tails are really good for the lungs and the immune system. It also aids the gut, so it's good for the pro it aids probiotic. Not to be ingested orally and digested through your system, it's best to decoct into teas. True, but you can suck on them. Yeah, you can suck on them for probiotics. <laughs> so next thing we have are ginger and turmeric our trusty roots, yeah. which will assist the body in digestion, healing the microvilli, of the turmeric. And the anti-inflammatory anti properties. Those are both antifungal, antiviral, etc., and great mm -hmm. medicines to always have in your cabinet. And both immune boosting. And then here I made an elderberry, partiarco, osho root, ginger, clove, and cinnamon and ginger syrup for the immune system and this can just help 
reestablish vitamin C into the body during these times and also just support the immune system during it. It's also good for the lungs with the oyster root and the pradiarco. Mm -hmm. So this is a concentrated syrup of many medicines mm -hmm. and it tastes like cough syrup but better. It doesn't taste like cough syrup. It tastes like it tastes like sweet a berry, sweet berry because it has the herbs in it and raw honey. So we wanted to ask you guys if you'd be curious in purchasing some of this, leave us a comment and we can make some more and we can send it to you for a good price. Mm -hmm. So medicine, medicine. Mm -hmm. Back to the medicine. This is burdock root. Burdock root. I love burdock root so much. It is used as, also as a cancer remedy, but during these times, it's also really good for cleansing the liver, purifying the blood, assisting digestive system. Kidney liver cleanser and scrubber. Yes. Mm -hmm. All elements related. Mm -hmm. mm, another similar mushroom we've been very enthused about, yeah. we posted about before, is a reishi mushroom, Ganoderma lucidum. And uh, this is a mushroom of immortality in Chinese medicine. It uh, assists the liver in detoxifying and upping the detox pathways. It balances the intestines. It's antiviral, antimicrobial, anti-everything bad for you. And it builds your resilience to stress. And it also, as it looks like a kidney, it assists the kidneys in detoxifying and strengthening and tonifying. And also looks like lungs, therefore it assists the lungs in the process as well. So some other herbs we have here, we'll run over quickly. This is Podiarco bark. It's a, an Amazonian bark from a tree. That's in there, by the way. But you can buy Podiarco at an herbal shop. It's another amazing antifungal, antiviral uh, medicine. Really works on the blood and the intestines. Mm -hmm. Immune system. Immune as system. Well. And by the way, the gut is 80% of the immune system. So the microbes and the ecosystem in the gut are really gonna, what's gonna keep you healthy, short term and long term from a virus or anything else. So something to keep bad critters down in the gut, it's very potent, is garlic. Garlic will kill parasites, suppress fungus, candida, yeast growth, anything that makes the ecosystem in balance. Garlic's a powerful nervine though, so you wanna make sure to take it in moderation. Yeah, and if you can't digest it well, I recommend putting it in olive oil. And garlic is also an antiviral and antibacterial, so it's really good at assisting the immune system in those ways. So if you feel like there's a virus coming out, so pop some garlic in your mouth and just swallow a whole glob of it if you're not sensitive to digesting it. Um, Something to note though is this stuff does desynchronize your brain. <laughs> garlic and white onions, it desynchronizes the brain so your hemispheres don't work in unison. They go boop, 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 boop. Okay, so it can make you bad. more creative, basically, yeah. but may not be the best thing for getting shit done. Just so you know. Oh, just need to relax more in this time, you know? Then this won't last too long. <laughs> this is all on video. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so next we were talking about the gut. And the gut has the immune system. So these are some foods that we can eat regularly, drink regularly to increase the microbiome, which are the critters in the gut that allow uh, everything to be metabolized and they're like our warriors. They're our uh, chest palms that keep us strong against viruses. So what do we have here? We have raw kefir from a whole organic cow pastures. Kefir, I, it's, I mean, there's... Kefir is a very powerful yeah. probiotic, very powerful. 13 billion bacteria and 12 live in active cultures inside. This. Yes, so you can take a shot of this before or after eating, and it's really yeah. powerful. Or before bed. And you wanna make sure you get raw kefir. Yeah, and not That's... pasteurized, because there's, with pasteurized dairy, there's lacking enzymes in it, and they have to put in more bacteria to sort of compensate for it. Yahweh. All right, last but not least, we have this big jar of sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, a lot of people know about sauerkraut. I make sauerkraut myself all the time. I just put different vegetables in it. So if you're first time making sauerkraut, I'd, <laughs> I'd recommend looking online possibly how to do it. Um, if you don't know, or look at different grocery stores where you can find organic sauerkraut. 
If you already make it yourself, definitely recommend sterilizing the jar, getting a big organic cabbage, washing that, shredding it, popping it into a bowl with a lot of salt. You can add different herbs. You can even add carrots. And here I added carrots and burdock root and you let it ferment for however long it tells you to, because it is alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good lactic acid bacteria here mm -hmm. and bifidus. The more medicine we have in our gut, the more alive bacteria and cultures and creatures, the more um, diverse our ecosystem is and just like a diverse forest that cannot be taken by invasive species, so is our gut. And with all the chemicals in the world and in our food system that we may have been eating, eating throughout our lives or maybe we're still eating and we're not aware of them, it's important to get those out and start putting in more biological life that can assist you in your health and vitality. Hmm. Is there anything else you want to say? Mm. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you. And um, to your health in these times. And remember, love and light will always win. And your thoughts will create your reality. So don't forget to think positive, loving thoughts and send love to the people who are really dealing with this, people in China, people who are actually sick, not us in the Western world who are watching YouTube and eating organic food. So mm -hmm. let's be grateful for what we have and um, hope that the best comes and the whole economy doesn't collapse and everything doesn't you know, go in a bad direction. Let's keep it all flowing nicely. And it all happens from within, so. As we nourish ourselves from within, everything outside us will change. So may this be a chance for us all to awaken and remember what's most important in this world, in this life, and uh, shift our actions to that of peace and harmony.